Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be walking through the Advanced Troubleshooting menu for FTD. To start, let's navigate to System, Health, and Monitor. Once here, I'm going to go ahead and expand the bottom, and I'll click on the FTD V device to drill into that a little bit more. On the alert detail, we see all the health monitor modules that are configured and some that are not, and we can also run them. We can have the option to generate a troubleshooting file and download that, but I'm not going to go ahead and do so. Next, I'll click on the Advanced Troubleshooting button. The first tab is the File Download tab. This is where we can download certain files or log files from the actual FTD device. If you have the actual path, you can go ahead and enter it here and you'll be able to download it. The next tab is the Threat Defense CLI where we can do pings, trace routes, and show commands. We can go ahead and put the parameter in and it'll return the output as if it was in the CLI. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and ping ICE and you see here that it was successful. Next, I'll do a show command of show access list, and it'll show me the full output of, sh of that command from the CLI perspective, which you can see here is my full access list. Next, I'm going to try show FQDN, which in this case, it should return nothing since I've removed my FQDN ACL from the last video, which see, it definitely does not work, it does not show anything. I'll do a show DNS this time, and since I already removed the FQDN configuration, it probably will return nothing, but let's take a look. Yep, nothing there. So I'll do a show running config, and let's take a look at that. As you can see here, it's returned the, show, the full output of show running config. And as we scroll through here, there's no FQDN or DNS configuration, so those previous outputs were correct. If you've ever worked with ASAs, the Packet Tracer tab should be familiar to you. This is where we can go ahead and put a source, destination, ports, protocols, and you know certain interface. And based on that, we'll get some information on whether or not, whether or not it would be allowed or blocked through a firewall and on what layer it would be. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and say the source is my ICE IP coming in from the inside interface. Give it a random source port. I'm going to give it an IP address of you know, something on the outside interface. Give it a random destination port, maybe like HTTP or FTP. And I can choose summary detailed, but I'll go ahead and go with detailed at first. And as you can see here, it's quite a bit of information. So it would be allowed, and we can see each phase that it would be allowed based on, you know, certain configurations. Now, if this big long uh, output is a little too much to see, what we can do is we can change it to the to tree, and it kind of concaten puts it in nice uh, tree format, so I can drill into a specific phase if I wanted to. Let me go ahead and do so. As you can now see the tree format, I can drill into each phase and see that, that it's allowed or denied based on just the information on, on each phase. So I, if I wanted to actually look at just a specific hit phase, it's, I can go ahead and uh, collapse it or, uh, or expand it based on this. Next, we'll go to the Capture with Trace tab. With this tab, we can actually do a packet capture. So if I wanted to add a capture, I can go ahead and put in a name for it, select which interface the capture is going to be, uh, do a specific protocol like ICMP, IP, TCP, things like that. Um, I can check, I could uh, configure a source ho host if I wanted to uh, do, be very specific or a destination host. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose the source host of 10.1.100.40, which is my, D my AD server. I'm going to just leave the destination host at any. 
and we could choose the uh, buffer size, packet size, uh, do a continuous capture or stop with full. I'll just go ahead and keep it as it is right now and save this. And then we can start the capture. As you can see below, it's starting to give us information on how many packets will be captured and show, show packets. Once this is done, we can actually uh, download it as a PCAP file or um, we could just kind of display what's showing here at first. And as you can see here, I could also do raw tree just like we did before. I'm just going to kind of leave it as, as the tree for now. As you can see, it kind of, we can expand that and get a little bit more detail. And it shows us how, how it would work uh, through a packet tracer as well for each packet, which is pretty useful if you're trying to debug or troubleshoot. And as you can see, the trace, the tree trace only view that if you want to just change that view, you have that available to you. And I'm going to go ahead and pause that packet capture. If we wanted to edit it or make any changes, we can do so here. Or if we wanted to, uh, uh, clear it, you know, download it as a uh, PCAP file or ASCII, we can do so as well and just pull, pull it up in a packet tracer. And with that, that was just our overview of the advanced troubleshooting uh, menu. Thank you so much for watching.